I'm Teresa LaBarbera, and you are watching Connecticut Style. Coming up today, we've called in our style squad of experts, radio talk show host Lisa Wexler, fitness expert Tom Holland, and Dr. Beth Collins to dish on some of this week's hot topics. Plus, we'll tell you about a new initiative by New Haven Public Schools, which will help give parents survival skills to help their children succeed in school and in life. And I'm here in the kitchen with Denise Mickelson from Fine Cooking Magazine. Hello, Denise. Hello. Uh, so we're using cast iron today. I'm not yeah. too familiar with this. Cast iron skillets are one of the best tools in the kitchen. Mine stays out on my stovetop all the time. I never put it away. And what are we making today? We're going to make beer-battered coconut shrimp. We're I gonna love fry. that. Yeah. And now what's in the magazine this month? Oh, we've got everything. We've got make-ahead Thanksgiving desserts. We've got a turkey on the grill, a smoked turkey. Ooh. We've got all sorts of ways to cook with cast iron. It's a really delicious issue. All right, well, issue. let's get this show started. Denise, look right into camera two. Tell everyone what they need to do. Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. Chris Murphy wants you to believe that Linda McMahon is anti-women. Really. Two facts about Murphy's record. According to the Connecticut Post, Murphy chaired a state Senate committee where he killed legislation that provided medical care to rape victims because it benefited Murphy politically. And according to official records, Murphy uses taxpayer money to pay the men on his staff 50% more than women, 50% more pay for men. Check the facts for yourself. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. We finally got Cox high-speed internet, so now there's way less buffering time in our house. But now there's... Bandwidth, baby! Woo! Hey, look at that! Streaming, gaming, downloading all at the same time as a family. Can you feel that? We're number one! We're number one! Make the switch to Cox high-speed internet and get more speed and more bandwidth for your money. Now starting as low as $19.99 a month. Call today. Randy. Hey. We just got Cox High Speed Internet. Try not to be jealous. Hey! Bandwidth! Yeah! We have it too. Switch to Cox High Speed Internet and get faster speeds that can support more devices starting as low as $19.99 a month. Fast internet is great, but. We got bandwidth, yes we do! We got bandwidth, how about you? Switch to Cox High Speed Internet now and you can all be online at the same time with speeds two times faster than basic DSL starting as low as $19.99 a month. Call today and find out why more people choose Cox. From politics to entertainment, we've brought together a few of our favorite guests to give us their take on some hot topics. Today on the Style Squad, we welcome back attorney and talk radio host Lisa Wexler, board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Beth Collins, and fitness expert Tom Holland. Welcome all back to the show. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank Our you. Our first topic, a fall from grace for, for Lance Armstrong. His reputation and sponsorships have all taken a nosedive after widespread allegations of doping. He was stripped of his many titles. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency and banned him from cycling. What do you think, Lisa? Start us off. Is this too extreme? Not only is it not too extreme, it's an unbelievably overdue. Anybody who's been following this story about Lance Armstrong, and I've been reading articles about this for years, knows that there isn't a word in the English language for how despicable this man is. Because it's one thing, Teresa, mm -hmm. to cheat. Sure. People cheat. They cheat. It's another thing to have everybody else on your team take the rap for you and spend the last umpteen years trying to bring them down, ruin their reputations, take away all their money, take away all their medals, which is what he did to all of his teammates, which is what he did to this young Irish woman who was a masseuse on one of his early tours. She ended up being a drug peddler. And when she was interviewed in a book about this, he ruined her. He sued her. He ruined her. His reputation has been of a bully and an intimidator. And he deserves everything he gets and more. Dr. Collins, what do you think? Well, I kind of have to agree with you about Lance Armstrong himself as a person. If he weren't such an arrogant jerk, people might have been a little <laughs> bit more forgiving of him. I wonder if he's going to be watching <laughs> today. But my opinion. But um, I, I have to agree with you. Whatever you feel about whether, I'm sure we're going to bring up the topic, whether this should even be an issue because testing versus legalization of, of steroids and drugs and doping in the world. But this guy... I have to agree, just based on just the sheer person that he is, 
he's not going to really have very many people, especially women, feeling sorry Can for him. Can you offset he's, it a little bit because of all the stuff he's done for charity, the Live Strong organization? He hasn't done that. He did all of that for himself. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> everything was a cover. Everything was to make his reputation enhanced in the public, and he didn't deserve it. And no. a great analogy, too, is like, you know, the Colombian drug cartels. They made a lot of money in really bad ways, and they built cities and gave hundreds of millions of dollars <laughs> to the people to protect themselves. That's true. But I'll take, and listen, I, I just did the Hawaii Iron Man. He was supposed to be there. It was my 21st Iron Man. I've spent many thousands of miles on a bike. Mm -hmm. And the age groupers are doping now. So the guys I compete against, they just, they started testing age groupers, not pros, out of contest. Mm -hmm. And they're catching them. So it's so ridiculous. The only thing I will say, and I have What's two boys. What's ridiculous? Wait. What's ridiculous? The, oh, the, 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 the oh, cheating. Oh, the cheating. The cheating. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? We were talking in the green room, so <laughs> we'll have to bring it. Drugs will always be, when there's money involved, mm -hmm. every professional sport. What, what has driven me crazy, I'm an exercise physiologist, and I've spent thousands of uh, hours on a bike and running. And people who think he wasn't cheating, he was cheating. Of course he, he was, was cheating. cheating. He's not, he he's not cheating. Superman, OK? All the other guys have gotten caught. He cheated, he cheated enough, yeah. and I have two boys. And you know what's so sad is he spent thousands of hours on a bike. He dieted like, and, and it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's gone. And you'll Does never he deserve know. that? He absolutely, 100%. You know what I, I, what I like out of all of this is I can look at my boys and say, you know what, at the end of the day, I've, I've worked way too hard on my career and my business, and I don't ever want that. Yeah, cheaters don't right. prosper. It's sort of like a good lesson. It's, it's like a, a morality lesson. Sale. It's Shakespearean yes. at its yeah. finest. Absolutely. He's, you know? he's a perfect example. It's just sad that he was a figure of United States success, that they were going in and winning the, the Tour de France every year, and it's a shame. And because now the French really were right. Can I, can I, yeah. <laughs> That's what really bothers me. But you know what? There's more to it because Floyd Landis, who was his original teammate, disclosed all of this years ago. And Lance Armstrong went on a campaign to make this guy a real right. villain right. for right. bikers. Right. I mean, not just a, an average guy. And so what he did was he took his own cheating and he put it aside and he made himself this man of stature. The I mean, humor. really, we don't yeah. have a word in the English language for really how yeah. gross We're all in consensus. Now, let's, let's hope that the, the public doesn't forget about it as quickly as they've forgotten about how horrible Michael Vick was because well, it seems too. like he's fine. You so. want to get into uh, <laughs> animal rights and all of that? Absolutely, the man should still be rotting. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, it's a dog fight of sorts. UConn, really? to, obviously. <laughs> UConn tells the Clinton Morgan School to stop using their husky logo because the similar they look so similar between Yukon's marketing they think the uh, logo might interfere they've had the husky dog in Clinton for 25 years right. obviously there's a little bit of resemblance but isn't a husky dog a husky and should Yukon be going after the well, Clinton school I'm a lawyer and the standard of copyright infringement is whether there's a likelihood of confusion but this is not really about that because this school, this Morgan School, Clinton mm -hmm. Morgan School, never wanted to make a dollar. They used this logo on their gym and on their lawn. They never even sold t-shirts. To me, it's a Goliath versus a David. It's a stupid way for the taxpayers of Connecticut to have to pay lawyers to issue a cease and desist order mm -hmm. against a school that isn't even doing anything wrong. It's ridiculous. And why is this coming up now if it's been the logo for 25 years? I, because somebody reported it right. who yeah. didn't go to the school. Somebody reported it to the organization of UConn, heard about it, mm -hmm. saw it, nothing to do with anything, and they felt, the lawyers, that they needed to protect their public copyright to issue the cease and desist order. But when you get into the story, mm -hmm. what they've said is, take your time, <laughs> right. you don't have to when remove this the, right yeah. away. <laughs> and the reason they said that is because it presents no threat to UConn. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is ridiculous. All right. Do you it's feel also safe? just similar. It's not the same. It's, it's not identical, but I th and, I'm pretty sure they've agreed to, to change it now. They have agreed. Yeah. Because I'm, how can you fight UConn? Right. You can't. Yeah. It's you not can. like there were knockoff t-shirts on the side on the of the road. Yeah. They're picking on the little <laughs> guy. It makes them look small. I feel so. In my opinion. All right, let's move on now. Uh, Monster Energy drinks. We've they've been in the news lately. Uh, recently, a parent filed a lawsuit after the death of a 14-year-old girl who drank two 24-ounce cans of the energy drink in a 24-hour period. An autopsy found she died of cardiac arrhythmia due to caffeine tox toxicity. She also had an inherited disorder of weakened blood vessels. All right, that's what we're looking at here. We have one here. These are huge caffeinated drinks. Yes. Should, yeah. Doctor, should, should little ones be drinking this in the first place, a 14-year-old? I probably wouldn't let my 14-year-old drink 
that because it's apparently about 14 times the a amount of caffeine in a cup right. of coffee. <laughs> but you know, you're you're never going to be in control of everything that your children are putting in their mouths. Mm -hmm. um, should there be warnings on it? Probably, if there's that high a dose of caffeine that somebody could actually have a fatal arrhythmia from it, it should go on there. <laughs> Having said that, I think that little girl did have something that was inherently wrong with her mm -hmm. potentially and I think it's probably a safe beverage for most people sure. I I really don't I, I don't think anybody really knows what the what the dangers right, right. well Don't exactly like, but, yeah but, I, but the warning should be on there that that's happened now at yeah. this point well to me the issue when you step back and I've had two teenagers there mm -hmm. in fact one is still a teenager and the issue is that all of us are exposed to substances, cigarettes, alcohol, highly caffeinated drinks, whatever it is, weed, even though it's technically not legal, it's becoming legal, that are bad for you. Mm -hmm. And we have a responsibility as parents to educate our children and ourselves about every single thing that goes into our body, That's including true. too much sugar, yeah. too much yeah. soda, too much anything. Having said that, this is an issue of fact. That warning that I just read before this mm -hmm. is very small. It says no more than three drinks a day. I mean, it's a little misleading. It's very misleading. Tom, they're very popular in the workout world, though. Are they not oh, energy drinks? I said I used to mix that with, you know, my coffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> to have coffee with but your it, coffee? It does give you coffee a boost with your as an adult, and you need the extra K. There's, is you there know, much a problem? I, I, someone died, so it's a very right. sad story. So, you know, you have to start there. But it's the personal responsibility yes, thing. Yes, it you is. Know? And I it's mean, just where, where, it was a slippery slope, and where do you stop? Are you, you know? going to stop everybody from having an espresso? Are you, you going to, because true topic. it's called right. Monster. <laughs> that for a reason. All right, guys, we're out of time. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you for discussing the topics, and we'll do it again. Sure. All right, up next, we're heading into the kitchen with Fine Cooking Magazine. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I work at the cable company, and I get to wear a hard hat. A question. Already. My mom says cable can't bundle cell phones. You mean wireless voice service? Uh, nobody does that. Mom says AT&T does, so... Oh. Oh. Call to get our UVerse Triple Play for $89 a month for 24 months. Now get the same great price for two years and get more choices than cable, even add wireless voice. Plus switch and get a total home DVR included free for life. Oh, I, I bring TV to you. Mr. Roy. With UVerse TV, you can record up to four shows at once on a single DVR and play them back on any TV. Miss Jones has Uvers. Call to get our triple play for $89 a month and get the same great price for two years, plus a total home DVR. And Uvers has more HD channels and cable, too. I want AT&T. Who wants to talk to a fireman? I do. No Choose the bundle that fits your life. Hey, it's Johnny Mac here with Miss Connecticut Outstanding Team, Janie Coy and LaFave. Right now, only at Barberino Nissan. Buy any new car for $27 down. Buy any used car for $27 down. Payments as low as $89 a month with only $27 down. Call 1-800-NEW-CARS. That's 1-800-NEW-CARS. And remember, if you have $199 and a job, he can sell you a new car. Barberino Nissan, Route 5 in Wallingford. Ba, 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 Barberino. Because cast iron skillets are inexpensive, non-stick, and practically indestructible, they are perfect for almost any type of cooking. Denise Mickelson is the senior editor of Fine Cooking Magazine, and she's here to share a recipe from the latest edition of Fine Cooking Magazine. Hello there. Hi, how are you? I'm terrific. So tell me a little bit about these skillets. These are cast iron skillets. They are they're my favorite pan at home. Really? Like I said, it always <laughs> stays out on top of my stove. I never put it away, mm -hmm. first of all, because it's really heavy. So just leave it on top of your stove. It's a go-to skillet for a lot of reasons. Okay. First, they're cheap. You can get a 12-inch skillet for about $35. It will last you a lifetime, literally. I mean, they're indestructible. People pass them down from generation to generation. But the best thing about them is that they hold their heat so well. Okay. So once they heat up, it takes a little while for them to heat up, but then they hold that heat so you can sear a steak beautifully in it. You can simmer, you know, you can do a braise and braise chicken legs until they're succulent falling off the bone. You can bake in them, oh, cornbread, right? right in the oven? Right in the oven. They're perfect that way to have a towel for when you okay. take it out. But one of my favorite things to do in a cast iron skillet is to fry. Okay. Now we're not going to say deep fry because as you can see it's a pretty shallow pan. If you have less than an inch of oil in here, you're going to fry beautifully and the key here is that it's going to keep the oil at the frying temperature. Okay. With a regular pan you throw the food in 
and the oil temperature plummets. And then the food soaks up a lot of the oil right. and it can get greasy. This way, the heat stays even, it seals the food so it doesn't absorb as much oil. I mean, dare I say it's a slightly healthier way to fry it? All right, I like Maybe the sound a of that. Bit. So I noticed that you have a little bit of oil. What type of oil yes. do you use? Well, this is peanut oil because it actually adds a really nice light flavor to the food. You could use canola. Mm -hmm. Don't use extra virgin because it has a low smoke point, so okay. it'll start to smoke and, and that's you not good. That. And extra virgin is expensive. You know, use a cheaper oil, like a vegetable oil. All right. But what we're going to fry today, what I'll show you, is beer battered Shrimpies. coconut shrimp. Love that. This is so delicious. These really Really are gonna knock your socks off. All so right, how do we start? Let's start with the batter. We've got a half cup of flour. Can you add? We've got these little bowls here. We got a little bit of salt. All of it goes in. Yep, okay. everything in the bowl. A little bit of salt. A little bit of sugar, which helps the uh, breading brown when oh. we fry it. A little bit of Cajun seasoning for just a little, you know, spicy kick. Little kick, which is always nice. And, and then, oh wait, first we do this. Okay. Then so. grab that's beer. We're that's a little bit here of Corona. Style. All it's of it goes a in beer. at once. Yeah, all of it. It's a beer batter. <laughs> and the carbonation, see how it's foaming up there? Yeah. And now add the oh, hot it smells sauce. smells good too. So a little bit of hot sauce. This is Frank's Red Hot. I grew up in Buffalo. That's what we use. Okay. Um, you can use your favorite hot sauce. Use Crystal or Cholula, whatever you like. And here is our oh, beautiful it's so, batter. I smell it. It's right? great. And so the hot sauce is going to play off the sweetness of the shrimp. So that's it. That's your batter. And then over here we have a plate with unsweetened coconut and panko breadcrumbs. Do you know what panko is? Not exactly. So here is a box of panko breadcrumbs. They're a Japanese style, really coarse breadcrumbs. So when you fry it, they're going to be super crunchy and crispy with good texture. And there's also unsweetened coconut. So if you have that sweetened coconut, the angel flake, you know, in you your don't cupboard, don't use it. That's so sugary. Okay. And this is, you know, this is beer battered shrimp. This is not a dessert. <laughs> so use unsweetened coconut and panko. So what we're going to do is take these gorgeous shrimp we have here. See how beautiful these are? These are literally called colossal, the size okay. of these, because there's only 13 to 15 per pound. So keep the tail on, it's like a little handle. You dip it in the batter, shake off the excess, and then you put it in this gorgeous coconut panko mixture, and then you put them on a plate. And that, it's that Should easy. I try Please, one here? Please, will you? And then while you do that, I'll start frying them. That sounds great. And it is so easy, so you don't even get your hands all that messy. No, because you have the tail in here. Exactly. So you hold on to the tail. Then you lay it here into our oil, which look how beautifully that's already now, simmering. What temperature typically do we want the oil at? We want it at 360, which is right where it's at right now. And this is only going to take one to two minutes because you want the outside to get brown, but you don't okay. want to overcook the shrimp. You know, shrimp only needs a couple minutes. Now, we could find this recipe in this, this month's is, magazine? It, exactly. So the October-November issue, online at finecooking.com. There's lots of other recipes for cooking in cast iron. It's a great pan. I'm not kidding. I use it can for everything. Can you bake with it? I know you said cornbread. You can. You really? can. You can do cornbread. We have a puffy pear pancake recipe in the issue. Oh, that sounds fabulous. It, they're so good. Essentially, they have a nonstick surface. The more you cook with them, mm. the oil that you cook with settles into the microscopic cracks of the pan really? and <laughs> creates a nonstick surface. So the more you use it, the more nonstick it's going to be. It's actually kind of a magical thing. Can you just easily fry an egg in it too? Oh like yeah. You could use it for anything? All the time. I right. make scrambled eggs in mine. I mean, really, the more you use it, the more nonstick it's going to be, which means you can do eggs. Yeah. You know, I do steak. I, I cook everything there. I do vegetables in here. Anything Great. you can think of. Now, I know we're near the holidays. Some recipes exactly. already in there? Oh, this issue is crammed. We have a <laughs> beautiful, beautiful smoked turkey from a barbecue champion. We have make-ahead. Thanksgiving desserts. So if people just throw the turkey right on the barbecue, you could do that? As in, you're just going to smoke it over the barbecue. And it's wrapped in bacon. I'm not kidding. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. All we right. have great recipes in this issue. you got to check it out. We will. Denise, we're going to try these at the end of the show. Yes, so we are. please keep frying those out. I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Uh, the recipe will be over on WTNH.com. And coming up, we'll fill you in on Parent University when style returns. Don't go anywhere. Keep bread and no shrimp. <laughs> Why are gun sales in Connecticut at an all-time high? Why are more people than ever arming themselves? Are you really safer with that gun in your hand? If you've got questions like these, News 8's got your back. Tonight at 11. <laughs> Who's got your back? News 8.
Watch for special Firehouse Fridays on Connecticut style. Local firefighters cook their favorite dishes and tell you how you can support the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital. We hope your family never experiences a serious burn injury, but urge you to help those who do. Everything's always on sale. So your sale price is really your regular price. At My Bob's, you get the lowest price every day. No <laughs> phony sale. I'm taking on the world famous Sealy Posturepedic. Theirs is $17.15. My Bobby Bear is $7.99. Theirs has a 10 year warranty. Mine is 18 years. Their mattress is 9 inches thick. Mine is 12 inches. And yours doesn't have the expensive Sealy label. I believe you'll sleep even better on mine, and it's over $900 less. It's a lust epidemic. But you don't even like him. Who says I don't like him? He's my sex friend. Ew. Grey's Anatomy, all new tonight, 9, 8 central on ABC. Last Man Standing is back. Now, come on now. Back November 2nd on ABC. Parents University is a new initiative by New Haven Public Schools which gives parents the survival skills they need to help their children succeed in school and in life, and it's all free. Joining me now is Susan Weiselberg, Chief of Wraparound Services for New Haven Public Schools, and Michelle Sepulveda, a parent who's involved in the program. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. So who wants to first explain to me what Parent University is? Why don't you go ahead and do that sure, for us? Sure, I'll go. Okay. Uh, Parent University is a unique program. Um, there is one in Philadelphia, there is one in Boston. Um, we're just implementing it here in New Haven. Mm -hmm. um, and basically what it does is it um, provides parents with classes and workshops that support them um, with their children as well as themselves. I mean, we've got some um, topics that are going to be geared around um, livable, um, um, I'm sorry, affordable housing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just a wide range of topics, exactly. right? Um, and Susan, let me ask you, who can take part in this? Any parent of a New Haven Public Child School student. Okay. Um, registration is first come, first serve. So you can take part until we run out of room, and we have about 350 seats. And the best part about it is that it's all free. It's all free. The workshops are free. Lunch is free. We start at 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Our workshops run from 9.30 to 11, 11.15 to 12.45, and 1.45 to 3.15. Okay. Free parking, free school bus, trips. You make it pretty easy. It's pretty easy, <laughs> and it will be fantastic. All right, and Michelle, I want to ask you, I know that you are part of the PTO at is Hill House? Hill House High School, and, yes. And uh, you took a trip recently. Tell me about that. Yes. Uh, well, in May, we went up to Boston to look at the... Uh, parent university there, uh, two other parents as well as myself, mm -hmm. and we really were impressed with the uh, overall program. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the workshops. I know we talked about housing and that type of stuff, but what else are parents going to learn? Uh, about financial literacy, okay. um, how to talk to your high schooler. Um, Which is important. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, how to read or teach your child to read. Um, a gamut of things. Um, it covers uh, parents with students from kindergarten through 12th grade. Right, and Susan, why do you think parents should go? Why is this so important? It's a great opportunity to meet other parents and to get tips on things, whether it's writing a resume or addressing the needs of urban boys, something we heard from a lot of parents that they really want to hear about. Uh, job search strategies, um, learning on how to work with your school's staff mm -hmm. and uh, create a different relationship with them. We have a whole range of topics that if you as a parent have been wondering how to do that, how to navigate the public school system, always a challenge. We have mm -hmm. workshops on all of those things that we want parents to not only participate in but bring back to other parents and to their school. Sure, and uh, we should mention it's offered in both English and Spanish. Yes. And it's uh, all free. Transportation, child care, do we need to register ahead of time? You absolutely should register okay. ahead of time, especially for child care. Um, the child care will take place for children ages 3 to 12 mm -hmm. at Cooperative Arts and Humanities High School, which is a block and a half from the new Gateway Community College, which is where Parent University launches. Very good. All right, let's put the information up on the screen if you're interested in Parent University. It's open to New Haven Public School parents to register. Call 203-497-7055 or visit nhps.net. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thanks Thank for bringing the program us. to New Haven. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back.
Most of the U.S. Senate is made up of lawyers and career politicians. They haven't passed a budget in three years, and they mostly look like Chris Murphy, another lawyer and career politician. I'm definitely not. I struggled out of bankruptcy and grew a business, creating 600 good jobs here in Connecticut. But now our economy is hurting. And if you think this is the best we can do, then Murphy's your guy. It's time to think differently. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. At YoPlay, we want you to feel even better about your favorite flavors. So when you call, tweet, and post, we listen. That's why YoPlay Light and YoPlay Original are now made with no high fructose corn syrup. And why we use only natural colors and natural flavors in YoPlay Original. So anything else we can do for you, let us know. But you'll keep it to yogurt, right? Because we shouldn't really help with your love life. YoPlay, it is so good. Linda McMahon spending $70 million to buy herself a Senate seat. Problem is, you're going to pay. With Linda's plan, seniors will pay $5,000 more for Medicare, $600 more per year for prescriptions alone. McMahon's sunset provision could end your Social Security. Linda McMahon's plan, if she wins, you lose. She's in it for herself, not for you. The Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Right, the Connecticut International Auto Show is coming to the Connecticut Convention Center November 2nd through the 4th. For a chance to win a family four-pack of tickets, just go to ConnecticutStyle.tv. We're also going to be giving away a $50 gas card as well. So, we are back here in the kitchen. Denise, these coconut shrimp smell delicious. Right. What are you finishing them off with? This is a remoulade sauce, which is just throw everything in a bowl and stir it together. You've got mayonnaise, mustard, orange juice and zest, celery, shallot, caper, and Worcestershire. It is just about it's everything. It's tangy, it's creamy, it goes so beautifully with the fried shrimp. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to dig in, but Lisa, tell us where we can hear your show. You can hear my show every single day on WFAS AM 1230 and also at lisawexler.com from 4 to 6 p.m. where we stream live every day. Very good. Dr. Beth, where do we find you? Uh, you could see some great before and afters and learn about oh, my practice <laughs> at uh, yeah, BethCollinsMD.com. And Tom, I know you don't have a mic on, but talking to uh, Dr. Collins. Uh, TeamHolland.com. Very good. Yeah. And where to register for Parent University in New Haven? NHPS.net. Very good. All right, everybody, dig in. We're just about out of shrimp. time. Oh. Thank you, Style Squad. Thank, Thank you at home you. for watching. Thank Make you. it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.